I have something deep and dark and terrible to show you. My closet. And you may be thinking, Kathleen, didn't you already do a closet clean out in a different closet? Yeah. But this is my shame closet, isn't it? This is where I keep things that are more cost to me. This is where I keep things that I want to use in an upcycle. This is where I keep things that maybe I want to sell or give away. But that wasn't the original intent of this closet. It was originally intended to just hold my crafting supplies. But there ain't no room for beads and sewing notions in here, I'll tell you that. So today, that's our goal. We're gonna clear out this closet so that I can be used for what it's actually meant for. I got some wild stuff in here, buckle, buckle in. And this corner of my office has just been kind of a general hell pit of, oh, you know, anything and everything that I don't know where to put it. So let's move all of that out and then we'll get to the meat and potatoes of this operation. Also, hi, I'm Kathleen. I make videos about art and creativity and style and stuff. Thanks for being here. Happy St. Patrick's Day. What are you? Sewing pattern. Okay. Ha. Boxes, 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 box. I forgot I had a xylophone. Lucky me. A huge mirror that I bought over a year ago for a thrift flip. A thrift flip. Wow, so pretty. There's more. God, why so many tubes? Wow, I can actually see the floor and I think the first time since I moved in here. Is everything just on the ground behind the camera? Don't turn around. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to start. And you should know this too. My goal isn't to get rid of everything, although I'd like to get rid of most of it. I'd like to maybe dedicate a third of this rail to costumey slash thrift flip options. And then we can have a little more space, a little more for creative tools. Like you would never know that there are even drawers down here that I found in the dumpster when I was in college. Let's begin. We start strong, maybe too strong, with my 1940s clown suit. <laughs> Whoa. This is for when I want to dress up like the patron saint of ketchup and mustard. Or if, I don't know, I get invited to a child's birthday party. This we keep. Hi, neighbors. God. Next, we have something that we made together. This really cool white blazer that we covered in illustrations. We have Mount Fuji. We have Cool Skeleton. Dragon. Kif Kit Cat Bus. Or Cat Girl. And a favorite, Jupiter eating his hot dog. I'm not quite sure why this was hanging in this closet. Maybe because I intended to draw more things on it. That hasn't happened yet. And I think we can move this into the normal closet because I'd love to get some wear out of it this spring with some like white suit pants. Do a full white out moment. Oh, and next we have a whole slew of event dresses or like wedding guest dresses. And I also don't know why they're in here because I keep those in the other closet as well. We got some silky babies. We've got my famous green shimmy shake dress. I think these are all silk actually. And then finally this really cool wool, like dark tropical dress. I think it was made in Italy. Long, gorgeous. We keep them all, but we move them all. And then we have some handmade pieces. Oh gosh, who remembers this little ditty? It's, it's a lot. I know. We made this in a video out of a vintage Disney bed sheet. The bodice of a vintage dressing gown. And listen, for someone with a certain style, this is really cute. Like a retro inspired Disney bound. Mwah. For me, it's not really my steez, but this is inarguably fun. So what I think I wanna do with it is I wanna put it in the kids' toys that I have downstairs for like when my nieces and nephews come over, add it to their slowly growing, but very powerful dress up collection of clothing that I have here. Cause I think they'd have fun dressing up like this. I think they'd enjoy it. And I honestly, I just don't see myself wearing it. Again, to the children's toys you go. Back from whence you came. Next, we've got this little flouncy mini number. We made this out of a vintage bed sheet and an old dressing gown. I guess that's what I make all of my dresses out of. Kind of inspired by a selkie dress. So it's got this really cute micro length, the poofy shoulders, a little tie in the back. It's cute and extra fun to spin in. I think this can go back in the normal closet now that we've entered what seems to be spring, but I don't trust it. I don't trust it one bit. Okay, next, speaking of house coats, pajamas. I originally thrifted this little like cherry pajama slash dressing gown just to wear as, you know, pajamas. But then I never did. And then I thought it would be perfect for a little thrift flip. Maybe we could add some like ruching at the bottom to bring the skirt up or even cut it into a two piece. Something kind of airy and historical for the summer months. So this will stay in the closet as thrift flip material. 
ingredients, one might say. Do I have any other thrift flip ingredients in here? This. I'm not gonna put it on, but it's this two-piece white. I don't know if this texture is seersucker, but it's definitely got some sort of texture pressed into it with this cute little laced collar. And there's little matching shorts in here, so I really wanted to do a matching set thrift flip in here. If you've seen my videos before, specifically when I'm thrifting, you know when I see a good light colored piece of clothing, that's like gold to me. That's just a canvas that I get to destroy with paint or thread or something. So this has actually been in my closet for a while because I love it so much that I want to pick the perfect thrift flip for it. If you have any ideas, let me know. She stays. Okay, next is kind of a bummer, to be honest. I got this really nice breezy Batwing Stella McCartney top, which is real nice. Like, look at these sleeves, so cool. And this little rounded collar. But I just never found myself wearing it. Maybe it's the color palette, the fit. I don't know. I think I'm gonna sell this. And I haven't decided if I am gonna sell items, how I'm gonna sell them, whether it's gonna be Poshmark or Depop or Instagram. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. I'm leaning towards Poshmark. I know that would mean it was US only, which is a bummer. But I just don't know if I have the bandwidth right now to deal with setting up my own shipping. We'll see. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. She goes. And now we're faced with a gauntlet of dresses that I don't think I should keep because I don't want to wear them or they don't fit. It seems like a good reason not to keep them. First, we've got this really sweet butter yellow floral moment. I think it's just too big. It's just kind of big up here. I'm swimming in it just a little more than I like to swim in it. The essence of cuteness is there. It just, this is just, it's just not working. Speaking of something else that's not working, I'm so sad about this green polka dot dress. I would try it on, but it is unfortunately far too small. But oh, the little mini A-line silhouette, the high neck neck. She wasn't cheap either. I think she shall be sold. If this ain't the prettiest enchanted little number by one of my favorite vintage brands, Virgo 2. I think it's like maybe a junior's brand or a young lady's brand. They always have these really cool fashion pieces, specifically dresses. This is a two piece with a silky lavender bottom layer and this top layer with flowers. I think what happened is that at some point this got washed. It's rayon and shrunk real good. So she is small. She will be sold with measurements because the size tag bears no meaning at this point. I'm so sad about this one. I can't put my shoulders down because it's so tight up here. Ay -ay -ay. This is such a cute dress. I'm really bummed about the fit. It's got really cute little puffy sleeves, this little ruffly waistline, big fun skirts. It's just, is for someone with less real estate, you know? It's so cute though. So this piece led me Rude. This piece led me to learning about one of my new favorite old designers as well, Maureen Keen. I think I talked about her in the video where I found this sweater. It came with a matching dress, like a matching tank maxi dress with the same floral decals all over it. I think I wore it recently, so I don't know where it is right now. How sweet and fun for spring and summer. Kind of off-duty clown vibes. Crazy. Madness. It's sick and twisted and I love it and we're keeping it. In a similar vein, let's talk about another wild and crazy cardigan. I found this out in the boonies of Northeastern Ohio at a thrift shop that was just called Thrift Shop. That's all it said on the sign outside. And I think it was like 50 cents or a dollar. And I was so, so inspired by this felting technique. Look at these flowers. They are layers of felt and bead sewn onto this really cute cardigan base. I was hooked, I was inspired. I was like, I need to make this. I need to make this, but different. So we got it. So it could act as research reference. And it's just crazy. I actually haven't styled it yet because it just feels so loud. I'm a little intimidated, but hopefully we can fit it into an outfit soon. Crazy. Okay, initially when I saw this in the closet, I was like, I'm definitely getting rid of this. It feels a little too serious for me. It's this kind of pastel light green ankle length driving coat. But then I thought, isn't this kind of the perfect answer to like the dark wool trench coat or driving coat that's trendy for winter for the spring. Something a little lighter, a little airier, a little more structured and sleek. I think I want to try styling this before we say goodbye. She deserves a chance, although I do wish the sleeves were just, just like an inch longer. It's fine. All right, this guy, I know we're gonna say goodbye, but man, let's just give it a moment of appreciation. Are we gonna say goodbye? Uh, I gotta put it on. Okay, this is nothing short of crazy. I just realized, I thought this was a dress, but I think you can wear it as a shirt. Like very oversized statement. Batwing. Shoulders, duh. Or you can pull it down over your rump 
and have more of a super drop waist dress moment. I got this for New Year's, I think two years ago, and it looked cute, but honestly, I don't really like this color on me. She can go. Spread your wings, little butterfly. Next, this is an obvious keep. I got this cool 90s vibes matching set from Luisa over at Funky Cool Threads. If you don't follow her, do that. It's almost got like a double-breasted button-up situation. Contrast stitching, so cool. The only problem is the pants. They do be tapered, and we do be hating a taper over in these parts. But guess what? That's fixable. Wouldn't it be cool if we added a panel down the side, made them nice and big and baggy? Because I would love to wear this more. It is so cool. All right, how do we feel about doing a lightning round? Let's get it. Cool green utility, boiler suit, a little big. The idea is that I would add a strip of elastic in the back so that it can sit up higher over my booty, then it would be pretty perfect. I've had this in this closet for an embarrassing amount of time. I need to do something with this. Vintage icy blue dress with pretty pleats and a super subtle, almost like leopard print or floral texture. Really cute, not my size. She's going. I couldn't even tell you why this jacket's in here. This is like an everyday wearer for me. It's this 90s-ish faux crackle leather Dolce & Gabbana jacket. I love this thing. Let's free it from its closet prison. Are the shoulders too much? If the answer is yes, then I probably like it. Love a strong shoulder. You know, initially I thought this was gonna be one that was gonna go, but then just the impact, the shoulder impact. One thing I don't like about it is that you'd have to wear a slip or something underneath because it's very transparent. I mean, you don't have to. Let it fly, live, live your life. Anyways, I'm kind of tempted to paint flowers all over this. You know, for spring. How's anyone gonna know it's spring unless I put flowers all over my clothes? I already have a head start with these little rosettes. We're keeping it and we're gonna paint all over it. It's decided. I don't believe I've ever showed this to you and that is hard to believe. Hi, soak it in, baby. Handmade, seemingly, I don't know, is this like a 70s vibes? Potentially a bridesmaid's dress? It doesn't zip uh, totally in the back. But gosh, it's so pretty. Huh? I actually have some like tie up or corset back kits that you can sew in so that it becomes a lace up back instead of the original zip so that this too may fit me like the dream that it is. It's just so good. It's so good. It's fluttering. I'm not even doing anything. She stays, obviously. And if that last dress was like the pink Barbie dream beach house, this is the goth sister house. This dress weighs like 10 pounds. Fully beaded with this like firework motif over a skyline with a super dropped waist. Endless flutter potential. A very open back. I love this thing and I can't believe I have not worn it. Not even once. And I've had it for years. It's one of those things that I saw at the thrift store and I was like, that has to come home with me. And if it just stays in my closet as a museum piece, that's fine. But no longer. I think this has great potential for wearing your more fancy pieces in a more casual way. So hopefully soon I can see what I can do with this bad boy. This bad girl. This bad, bad piece of work. Beats. Okay, I need your help with this bad boy. We found this in a very early thrift with me. She's vintage. She's made in France. This is supposed to button in the back, but I have not buttoned it. This is such a pretty detail right here. Oh, I can't get over it. But here's the problem. I don't like this color. That's the reason that I don't reach for this dress. So do we think it would be a travesty if I dyed it? Or should I make it something that I will want to wear? Ugh, get over here. It's so fun. I'll let you think about that and I have a bunch of jackets to show you. First jacket, this Filson beauty that I've had since I lived in California. And I think I've probably worn it twice because it's just a little tight up here, but it's so beautiful. It has these cool big pockets, really thick weight, some chamois material. She is destined to be sold. Easy peasy. Oh, oh for shame. This jacket was in my very first closet clean out. <sighs> and I still have though I said I was getting rid of it, but just the My Chemical Romance of it all, you know? But I feel like if I'm gonna reach for a leather jacket, it's either gonna be that crackle leather one or the blazer I have. She can go. Wow, this jacket's been a monkey on my back. Time to go. I don't need a blazer. I know I just said I, I have a blazer, but what I mean is I don't need like an actual real business casual blazer. It's very nice. And I think I've kept it so long just because it's nice. It's Helmut Lang, super comfortable, but I just, I don't need it. Who needs a blazer? All my business girlies out there. I have two more blazers, but these are different. These are tweed. So this one has a fun kind of oversized vibe. I've worn this so many times. The vibes are good, the vibes are strong, but I also have this one that makes me feel like a mousy little professor man in the best way. And I really like the color of the lining. It's this very like reddish chocolatey brown. So this is a little more structured, a little more serious. I don't think I need this one. And I think there's a reason I've worn this one so much. I think I prefer it. Cool. Who remembers the white trench? I 
should have worn this this winter, but it was just stuck in this dang closet in purgatory. I'm so sorry. I think this jacket might deserve a video of its own where we paint all over it or something. It's just so loud. It speaks volumes, you know? She's staying in the closet as a thrift flip fodder, okay? Okay, who am I trying to convince? Me? That's fine. And I think we're gonna end on a high note. Let's become the banana man from Curious George. Is that his name? I'm like the man with the yellow hat if he didn't have a yellow hat. This has been hiding in this closet because of my ineptitude. My desire to just keep shoving things in it and burying what's in the back. Oh man, this rediscovery feels good. It's giving the man in the yellow hat from Curious George. It's giving Georgie from it. Here are the deets. Buttery, radioactive leather blazer. Ooh, but what's that? Matching yellow leather pants. Can you even believe? Wow, wow, I feel like Powerline. That's who I feel like I look like except in yellow and not lime green. All right, let's look at the damage we've done. I'm keeping this, obviously. Yeah, oh, I slept on my shoulder wrong. Ow. Y'all, this used to be chock-a-block full. And now I'd say it's half a block full. We've got my fun costumes. We've got my frilly dress that I want to alter a little bit. My leather banana suit. And everything else is either gonna go or it's gonna go to the closet where it actually belongs in this home. Like my everyday wear or my coat closet. I mean, the rest of this closet is still, you know, a bit of an embarrassing mess. But even getting through the clothing in here has been haunting me for longer than I'd like to admit. So it's a great start. And I mentioned, can you stop? And this is all in an effort to declutter my office in general. So it works better for me, so it's a better filming location, so I know where things are. Wouldn't that be nice? I need help. So if you like this kind of decluttery organization type videos, then please feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'd really appreciate it. Let's get through this thing together. And if you didn't know, a lot of times I make videos about going to the thrift store and next week's video is one that I've wanted to make for years and I finally got someone to say yes. So if you're interested in a truly unhinged time at slash in a thrift store, then I would highly recommend you subscribe as well so you get notified when I post it next week. Ooh, baby, I'm excited. There will be, there will be skeleton, skeleton involved. Prepare yourself. Also stay tuned for a future decluttering video where we actually get this stuff listed on Poshmark or something else so y'all can get your hands on it. We're not gonna do that this week, but stay tuned. For now, I hope you have a great week. I hope you, you do one of these. You smile. At least once. Maybe twice. I'm gonna clean up the massive mess I made and I love ya. You stinky. Goodbye.